Hello friends, how are you doing today? So in this video, I'm going to share my experience. How did I pass TOGAF 9.2 certification? Okay, so the TOGAF 9.2 certification is not that easy to pass because um, you have, you should have real time architecting experience. Also, you should have uh, done uh, many enterprise level projects. Okay, because the questions what they are asking is not a kind of uh, um, multiple choice question you have multiple choice questions but uh, it's uh, of less marks okay and majority of your marks uh, will be on the experience based questions and scenario based questions okay so getting uh, to know about uh, TOGAF uh, uh, syllabus is itself a hard okay and you may see a lot of uh, training materials training videos all those stuffs but um, even if you get into those trainings you may last because it's a kind of ocean where a lot of uh, knowledge uh, like you know you need to gain okay also this is not a kind of uh, aws or azure or um, google cloud exam certifications because there you will do a lot of hands-on with your cloud services right but here uh, there will not be any hands-on as such because it's not a cloud service or anything right it's a certification exam right it's kind of uh, uh, knowledge about architectures and how do we implement business architecture how do you implement uh, data architecture when you work for a, an, a banking uh, sector or any telecom sector how do you implement uh, the application architecture and technology architecture right so these level of information and knowledge you may not get even if you do some kind of hands-on practice right it has to come through your experience okay so that's why the TOGAF 9.2 or TOGAF 9.1 whatever the version of TOGAF is a little tough compared to all the cloud services exams okay so how I passed this exam what kind of preparation I did okay I'm going to share this in this video the first thing is um, I bought two books okay and one is this TOGAF Foundation, okay, TOGAF Certified Guide, and the second one is TOGAF Foundation, okay. The first foundation one is the basic one, and certified one is the uh, uh, next version of the TOGAF Certification Preparation Guide, okay. So these two guides are very very important, and uh, you can get the PDF version from TOGAF site, uh, but that won't be that uh, helpful because. Uh, you may not have that field of preparing for the exam okay so these two books were so much helpful for me to understand the concept and go through each and every phases of TOGAF okay and uh, second thing is uh, TOGAF community I was part of TOGAF community and start collaborating with more people so how you can get into this TOGAF community you can uh, register you also yourself in TOGAF site go and uh, search in Google I put a video about how to register uh, for TOGAF uh, um, community and how to uh, get uh, the access to all the materials in TOGAF. Okay, so you can do that and get um, get to know about what they are talking in the uh, TOGAF community. You can share your experience and get uh, uh, knowledge and experience from other folks who are participating in that uh, community. And uh, the third one is the sample questions. So basically, if you are uh, preparing for any cloud certification exams, right, you can easily get the sample test uh, questions from uh, Udame or uh, so many places, right. But here in the case of TUGAF, uh, you have to get um, the scenario based questions from outside. So there is no uh, good material available in any of the uh, famous learning uh, institutions, okay. So what I did was I did uh, Googling and find found a lot of uh, sample questions about TOGAF uh, 9.2 scenario based questions and went through those questions uh, and also the second test right in uh, TOGAF there will be two tests one is uh, the foundation and another is uh, certified exam in the certified exam um, the questions are going to be a scenario based question and you have to use your experience to uh, solve those questions okay so for that um, what i did was um, i took the scenario based questions from internet uh, and uh, i spent literally a uh, hours and hours to answer those questions and wrote the justification for why my answer is correct okay 
so that is little tricky you have to do a lot of um, um, hands on not not hands on a lot of uh, um, experiments with uh, questions and uh, uh, write down your answer and verify against the documentation okay so the good part is like you know second uh, test the tocat 9.2 uh, certified exam it's a open book test you will be given the uh, book okay the pdf version of the book while writing the exam and all you need to do is just refer the section for the question they asked and put the answer uh, from the right section okay if you don't have clear understanding of uh, how to gap framework uh, um, is working and how it is exist and how it is useful for your organization it is hard uh, for you to find out which section is the correct section so for that you have to go through this um, TOGAF 9.2 certified book thoroughly okay or the PDF is available in the TOGAF site you can um, go and download and use it okay uh, and apart from that you don't need to worry too much about uh, passing this TOGAF uh, 9.2 exam uh, because most of the people uh, afraid to register one because it's um, uh, it's the the fee structure is high right you will not be uh, spending like 100 bucks or, or 200 bucks for the exam it will be like uh, 400 to uh, 450 bucks for both the exams right so the cost of the exam is uh, high so you may feel like okay can i register now and uh, is it possible for me to complete this exam in two months or three months uh, or do i need to wait for the full preparation so those kind of hesitations will be there uh, so my experience in on that is first fix the exam date and uh, I started preparing for the exam and then I postponed it a uh, couple of times but still I had a target in my mind to complete this within three to four months and um, finally I supposed to take that exam without any uh, delay so I tried it out and then uh, I cleared it out so I have provided all the details in the description below and what are all the links that I have used to prepare for these exams and also like uh, my experience and little bit of notes how I took all the informations are given in the description below you can make use of that and if you have not subscribed to my channel please uh, do subscribe I will post uh, all the tips and tricks for passing the key uh, certification exams like uh, AWS, Azure, Google Cloud and uh, TOGAP exams okay and also share this video to your friends so that they'll also get uh, benefit out of this and enjoy your rest of the day take care bye